Hello everyone, this lesson is about negative space and scumbling. So negative space is the space around an object or between an object. You can kind of think of it like the pockets of air around things. Positive space is an actual object, something that has volume and mass. So my hand is an example of positive space. Negative space would be these pockets of air between my fingers, around my hand. Negative space is a really useful tool to be aware of in drawing um, because you can be not only checking the positive space of the actual object that you're trying to draw, but you can also check the shape of the negative space. So to get used to doing this, we're gonna do this whole project just focused on negative space. We're going to make a drawing of something botanical, so it could be a tree or some type of plant. The trees right now are perfect for this because many of them have lost many of their leaves. They have big pockets of negative space to work with. So you're going to be making a drawing where you're really paying attention to and focusing on the shapes of negative space not the positive space and so not the thing itself. You're not drawing details within these leaves, for example, but you're paying attention to what are the shapes between the leaves like, and you're gonna draw that, which can then lead you to making this drawing of a tree, but you've made it through this kind of roundabout way of working on negative space. So negative space, and then we're going to fill the area around this negative space drawing with scumbling. Scumbling is a type of mark making. You're making the mark with these kind of little tornado shapes, and I will show you how to do that in this video. You're going to select three colors from your color pencils to make these layers of scumble in your drawing. You can choose any colors that you want. I chose these kind of fall oriented colors, but you don't have to follow that. You can choose something else, but I wanna see three different colors and I want to see a whole bunch of layering of scumbling. As you get closer to the outline of your drawing, I recommend darkening it, making that value more intense to make your drawing really stand out. It should be clear that you're making a time investment, that you're also trying to make something that's a beautiful drawing too, and that you're exploring both negative space and these scumbling mark making methods. Here's a photo reference I used for my demo drawing you will be using your own botanical reference or tree reference. Again, think of the negative space as the air around an object or the pockets of air between an object. So those pockets of air between these leaves, these branches, and these little seed pods. Start your drawing and focus on the shapes of negative space that you see. If you are drawing a tree, what does the shape around the tree between the branches and between the leaves look like. Do not draw the interior details of your plant or tree. That would be dealing with positive space. Clearly and carefully map in the contour of your negative space, paying attention to the shapes you are seeing in your reference image. Take your time, bring that same level of observation from your blind contour and modified contour drawings here. Draw what you see rather than what you assume. Okay, I have finished my negative space outline. So as I drew this, I was paying attention to the negative space in my reference images. So I was drawing those pockets of air and focusing on that, not focusing on uh, drawing the, the branches or these leaves individually. So I'm focusing on that negative space. Now I'm going to introduce a scumble into this drawing. A scumble is a really interesting mark making method that will be part of this assignment. I'm gonna be scumbling in three different colors. You can choose the colors of uh, your, own, your own choice. You don't have to be using yellow, red, and um, orange, though I chose this to go with this kind of fall theme. So a scumble is a, um, when you're doing a motion like this down onto the paper. Okay, so scumbling exists in both drawing and painting, and it's kind of this almost sort of like tor tornado-like form that you're putting down onto the paper. Uh, so it's great for establishing a sense of atmosphere, uh, a kind of misty quality, 
and you could do a whole drawing just using this kind of mark making method and you could draw anything and you can still have um, that drawing read accurately just depending on how you handle things like your composition and also your value. So what you're going to do is you're going to layer together different uh, scumbling marks and you can do this with different colors as well. Now you can see I've carved uh, my, my pencils so that I've exposed more of the, um, the lead here to draw with. So you can lay down the entire bit of your uh, the exposed lead and use that entire part of the pencil to draw with. That's why when we're um, sharpening our pencils, sharpening our color pencils, you can expose more of the lead so you have this the opportunity to use this entire part to draw with, as well as the tip. Okay, so you're gonna fill in this entire drawing with a uh, layers of scumbling, and then go right up to the edge of your drawing. Okay. Now in here, I might do a little bit more shading, um, getting right up to that edge and to kind of darken it as I go along the edge. And then I'm gonna scumble my way out, okay? So work on developing an interesting scumbled background to go along with your negative space drawing. Scumble in the negative space of your image, leaving the positive space the blank white of the page. Alternate between three different colors and build up layers of your scumbling marks. Scumble in all of the negative space areas. Don't leave big blank areas. Okay, everyone, I'm switching back to a real-time video for a moment just to um, re-emphasize something. So with a scumble, you can both do a larger mark like this using the whole side of your pencil. And then in areas where your uh, it's smaller, getting into more detail, you can hold it more in this tripod grip. So I'm gripping it like I would be writing. And I'm still doing a scumble, but I can do it smaller, more condensed. I'm still making that kind of tornado sort of mark down on my paper. Um, but I can do it in a kind of more detailed way. Um, I want to see throughout this entire piece that you're maintaining this scumbling, so this kind of tornado-y mark making throughout, okay? Even if it's in a small way. So you can have a variety in the size. You can layer these marks more to build up the value to darken areas. You're going to want to, around the, the areas of your line drawing, um, darken it to emphasize the, that form. So you can see I've done that around this kind of leaf shape and it's making that stand out more, okay? Especially in these little areas right up next to the drawing. So you want to intensify value in areas that you want to stand out more. And you can do that both through pressing harder and also layering the marks more. So again, one more time, remember, you can do small scumbles and you can also do larger scumbles, bigger, bigger shapes, uh, marking down on more of an area. In the final stages of your drawing, Make sure that your negative space drawing is still showing clearly. You can darken the area near your contour lines with a harder application of your color pencil, through more layers of color pencil, and through smaller and tighter applications of the scumbling marks.